everyone so today we're going to be doing a day in a life of Tia Claire to me um, and so I'm gonna show you what I'll be doing and what I typically do on a regular day uh, you know I start off with the coffee I like to read and do some rum wood so um, I hope you enjoy and don't forget to comment any questions that you may have at the very end um, so that we can do our best to answer them and uh, yeah I'm excited to show you what I do all right, so I'm uh, making breakfast this morning before my morning session. And if you're intrigued to see what I eat during the day, especially um, what I've been eating for games training, um, you can actually head on over to my other my channel and you'll see that, that we've done a day in the life of eating with Tia Klatumi. So um, check that out if you're interested uh, in what I'm actually eating throughout the day. It's pretty similar but there's a little bit of variety when it comes to like my lunch and dinners I just like to change it up a little bit but breakfast is typically the exact same hey guys so we're at the gym and doing our first training session for the day um, it's going to be a 40 minute EMOM so <laughs> um, we're kicking the day off really strong with a nice solid workout and um, we'll go home after this, have a shower, have a rest, and just, you know, eat some food, and then come back for the afternoon session, which will consist of a lot more uh, stuff with strength and conditioning, and also some accessories. Typically, our first session will be around the 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, start time. Gives us a good solid hour or two before, you know, we can sleep in a little bit. We can get the body moving, stretch, you know, have our normal routine in the morning and then we're ready and primed to go for our morning session. Um, <clears throat> if we're outside, I like to go a little bit earlier just because it can get a lot hotter. Um, and also I don't want to be zapped from the sun too much too, too late. And if we're in the gym here, we had a bit of a slower morning, slept in a little bit longer and then uh, we're able to kick it off um, here at like around, roughly around 10, 10.30 this morning. I'm bad, as bad can be so bad That it's hard to believe Oh, what they say about me I'm bad, take a look and see so bad That it's hard to believe I don't care what they say about me An empire fall. I stormed the gate and scaled the walls. They wouldn't share, so I took it all. I was an empire fall. I don't worry about specifically not being used to training too early just because I know that when it comes to the games I'm just ready for anything and also I'm well rested you know I'm, I'm not in as much of a deficit as what I am throughout my training cycle so being able to quickly adapt and be like okay we got our first event at 6 a.m. it doesn't really bother me at all because I you know I would have had the right amount of sleep the, the day before and um, and my body won't be as tired as what it would be, say, if Shane sprung that on us throughout training. But you know, like, there, we, we find ourselves training uh, pretty late into the afternoon and, and not early night. And so, you know, that definitely helps when it comes to the games because there's some really long days, you know, we might be getting up really early and then having to do later workouts um, in, the, in the late afternoon, so. I'm just so prepared when it comes to the games that uh, nothing really irritates or bothers me when my schedule 
I'd say might be a little different to a typical training day. And welcome back to another, nope, not sure. Maybe this is just another scene introduction, but we are on our way back uh, home yeah. from our morning session. So Tia is gonna take more of the conversation because this camera requires two hands. We just got done with our morning piece, so I'm just gonna go home. You look red. Yeah, because I just worked hard. And um, we're gonna go home, have something to eat, uh, pick up James, who's actually last chance qualifier this weekend, and also, um, did I say I'm gonna go have something to eat? Yeah. And then I'm gonna go and sit on the couch and just chill for a little bit. And then we're gonna go back into the gym probably around about 12.30, 1 o'clock. We're doing this for multiple reasons as well. Given that we're leading into the CrossFit Games, we do want to simulate a bit of the uh, the long drawn out day, applying intensity to each piece, making sure that every piece uh, has this element of rest involved, incorporating into it, like the recovery aspect of in between intervals. Mm -hmm. um, I may, it may not sound like much, and for the most part, it really doesn't add much, but it's more mentally being engaged for the entire day um, of our training session rather than going, okay, um, I'm at work or okay, I'm in the gym. I'll just, I'm just here from nine to five. You no, know, for us, it's sort of like we enter the gym, we do a piece, we switch off, we do whatever we need to do, hydrate, recover. We come back in in a couple hours and then we try to repeat that effort of bringing in our uh, attention back to what we're trying to do there and our intensity back into each piece as well. It's ABC. important to say is like every time I go into the gym there's purpose behind what I'm doing you know so it's like I'm not just lifting to get stronger and lifting for the sake of it. Alright so I'm making uh, my second breakfast and Shane's first breakfast. We're having avocado on some bagels with some egg and I'm also, if you've seen my other, did you get in? You didn't get in. Um, if you've seen my other episode of a day in the life of what I eat um, throughout my games training, you'll know that I like to have one savory side of the bagel and one sweet side got of the it. bagel. Shay. So we've probably got another 30, 40 minutes at home and then we'll make our way back there, start mobilizing, cooling down, getting back into that zone of training again, um, we'll pack our bags, more food as well, encouraging more calories as well throughout the next couple of days as well, just be more conscious of that and trying to find out what that balance is of um, what's too much and what's not enough so to speak on, on our food as well. Is it more exhausting to stay at the gym than to come home? I think it depends, during the week it is, I think so, I think that's a very, very, very valid point. Um, because the music's on all day with like the class and, and that's what it is right we understand why the affiliates do what they do but obviously we're just trying to control that exposure as well so we'll just come home just chill out here generally be pretty quiet or relaxed or just chill out for the most part um, but on the weekend sometimes we consciously stay there just so some events or some of the training just requires us to be engaged or just there's no benefit to go home so we, we prepare, we'll try to do both, would you say? Yeah, and I can't be bothered to drive all the way home sometimes. Not that we live very far from the gym, but it's it's just more of the convenience, you know? Like if I'm gonna have my lunch and everything there, I can just chill out, you know, we, uh, we'll, we'll chat and yeah, we spill the tea. <laughs> So we're back at the gym, it's about one o'clock and we're about to get into our second session. So um, we're just rolling out, stretching out. We'll probably stretch and roll out um, before every session uh, just to make sure that the body is feeling nice and loose. Um, you know, if we've done a track session, we're probably wanting to stretch out our legs a little bit more. Um, if we have a lot of upper body stuff to work through this afternoon, we'll stretch and get the upper body primed and ready to go. Um, and then I don't actually know what we got we got planned for today. Um, I'll go over to the uh, pro, to the whiteboard soon, but um, we'll, we most likely will be starting off with some weightlifting 
and uh, getting the body ready for um, a nice little uh, Metcon piece afterwards. If I follow it, obviously I do adjust it if for whatever happens that I don't overlook something like we've done. And it really happens more often than not. If I overlook something, say for instance, um, they accumulate a lot more hand sand walk volume than I anticipated. Um, and then I have a shoulder exercise the next day. I'll, I may move that around. But when we get close to the games, I, I don't mind doing uh, attacking muscle groups uh, back to back. I think that's more of a realized us a simulation of what, what can happen or what has happened in the past. So if I had to put a percentage on it, honestly, I'd, I'd like to think that it'd be around 95% of the time that I wouldn't change anything. This 5% is obviously when um, they don't feel comfortable about how much volume it, and it's more of a, a triage. We're just trying to look after our body and just trying to move things around. Or in that the one-off case scenario where the class is using absolutely all the ski ergs and which is fair enough as well. Uh, we just modify that and use a salt bike and I'll make sure we catch up on it. Um, and the third one is, yeah, like I've said, like the volume that we've just uh, did more than we anticipated and then we just had to shuffle things around. This is how it's gonna be This is what you think of me It's going down like I told you This is how it's gonna be I'll be the last man standing here I'm not going anywhere It's going down like I told you I'll be the last man standing here Back in the day when I very first started out, I felt like I was always having to play catch up. So, you know, we'd have to do a lot more than probably what you would think we would have to do, just because I felt like I needed to make up that 10,000 hour rule, you know? And I'm, I've definitely, definitely accumulated that 10,000 hours. So um, now it's about quality over quantity. And uh, I think that that's very interesting and probably not a lot of people probably have uh, ever realized that that's something that, or, or that's the way we've ever looked at it. But I just came into the sport so much later than what my competitors were and I needed to play catch up. Get ready, cause here I come. I'm about to come and get me some. Hot as a smoking gun. So get ready, cause here I come I'm gonna rock you I'll have you begging for mercy, begging for mercy So we got done with some strength training and we also did a Metcon. <clears throat> We're now just having a bit of a break. I'm having some um, something to eat, so I've actually got spaghetti bolognese. Um, and then we're going to be just resting and taking a little bit of time before we get into our last conditioning piece, which is more of a long endurance uh, me um, uh, machine piece. And that should be the end of the day for training. And then once I get home, I'll be going home, having a shower, um, getting into my PJs, cooking something up to eat for dinner, 
tonight I think I either may have some leftovers of this or I may even have some salmon see how I feel um, but I'll throw on some Normatex and just lay in front of the um, TV to chill and unwind so I'll see you then so guys I hope that you enjoyed a day in the life of Tia Claire to me um, it's been quite eventful in terms of training and you know really getting after it for games particularly um, so I'd love to hear any comments any questions that you guys have um, you know just hearing what you guys have to say even about it is really really cool and and fun to to scroll through and, and read um, and just to get a different point of view on uh, on what it's like for you guys to see what I do um, so please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I really hope that you enjoyed seeing what I do on a, almost a daily basis.